A new graphic has been developed that combines the Army Leadership Development Model and the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Model into a single image. Stay with us for that's what we'll be discussing on today's episode of The Evolving Warfighter. Welcome back to The Evolving Warfighter. My name is Dr. Franklin Annis. For the better part of a decade, I've been studying the Army Leader Development Model and the education approaches that the Army uses to train its next generation of Army leaders. I found a graphic that is currently used to display the Army Leader Development Model problematic for several reasons. So I thought to create a new graphic to better display the theories and concepts found within this model. Ultimately, I settled on the concept of developing a tripod model for leader development. Each leg of this tripod symbolized one of the Army leader development domains. This included self-development, institutional training, and operational experience. The length of these tripod legs were used to symbolize the experience and leadership ability gained while operating in each one of these leader development domains. It becomes readily apparent through this model that all three domains are needed to be engaged for a leader to maximize their leadership capabilities. And this is one of the reasons why I chose a tripod model, because it showed the true interdependence and requirements to engage in all three of the Army leader development domains to truly maximize a leader's capability. Understanding I had just created a graphic of a tripod but no weapon system, I decided to add the M2 Browning 50 caliber machine gun on top of this tripod model. This is a weapon system that has served the U.S. Army for over 85 years and is rather iconic for its length of service. Wanting some opinions on this model, I sent this model to a great scholar, leader, and mentor, Colonel Rich Stitzer at the AMED Center in school. Colonel Stitzer quickly replied back to me and said, since you've included a 50 cal, you could connect the theory of the comprehensive soldier fitness model with the practice of doing headspace and timing on a 50 caliber machine gun. For those of you who do not know, setting the headspace and timing on a Browning 50 caliber machine gun is of critical importance because if it's set incorrectly, the machine gun may fail to fire when you need it most, it may fire too slowly, or even worse, it could fail catastrophically like shown here. Colonel Sitzer's recommendation of adding the comprehensive soldier fitness model on top of the tripod model of leader development was truly exceptional because ultimately as military leaders we are only capable of leading when we are fit soldiers. If we do not tend to our own fitness, we like the 50 caliber machine gun can fail a function in combat or self-destruct. The comprehensive soldier fitness program was established in August of 2008 by then Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army, General George W. Casey, Jr. He noted that there were several problems that were being caused by repeated deployment to Iraq and Afghanistan from soldiers, and instead of just addressing the issues post-deployment, he wanted to put something in place that could really build the resilience of soldiers and their family. The publication for the Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Program is the Army Regulation 350-53. Reading from this manual, the Army established the CSF-2 to increase the resilience and enhance the performance of soldiers, families, and the Department of the Army civilians. Resilience is the mental, physical, and emotional and behavioral ability to face and cope with adversity, adapt to change, recover, learn, and grow from setbacks. A resilient and fit individual is better able to leverage intellectual and emotional skills and behaviors that promote enhanced performance and optimize their long-term health. The purpose of the performance enhancement training efforts is to develop the full potential of soldiers, Department of the Army, civilians, families, using a systematic process that expands the mental skills essential to the pursuit of personal strength, professional excellence, and the warrior ethos. Performance enhancing training contributes to readiness through intentional and deliberate application of self-regulatory skills for consistently performing to one's potential under challenging circumstances. Resilience, performance, and physical health are closely related and research indicates 
The individuals that demonstrate strong characteristics in one area are usually strong in the other areas also. While an analogy based on head spacing timing of a Browning machine gun may make perfect sense for a military veteran, it may not make sense for the next generation of Army soldiers. As of 2010, the Army has announced that they are upgrading the M2 Browning machine gun to the M2 Alpha 1. This new machine gun no longer requires manual head spacing timing. However, the new Alpha 1 machine gun does require five different steps to function properly in the battlefield that correspond to the comprehensive soldier fitness. The M2 Alpha 1 will need to be cleaned, lubricated, inspected, fed the appropriate ammunition, and appropriately manipulated through the correct manual of arms. These five tasks can be connected directly to the domains of soldier fitness of physical, family, social, emotional, and spiritual. While the analogy of headspace and timing may not make sense for the next generation of Army soldiers, the basic functioning of this machine gun still makes a good analogy for comprehensive soldier fitness. I'd like to thank Colonel Stitzer for his valuable recommendation and his continued support for this research. I'd also like to thank him for presenting this research to the 2018 Reserve Component AMED Captain's Career Course. For anyone interested in more information on the ANIS Tripod Model of Leader Development or the Comprehensive Soldier and Family Fitness Model, I'll leave links at the end of this video and in the low bar below. For anyone interested in more videos on the topic of self-development or military history, I invite you to subscribe to The Evolving Warfighter. Until next time, focus on your self-development so we can ensure that we can dominate the modern battlefield.